Alright, this is part two of the video series regarding uh, fertilizer dosing for a low-tech tank. Non-CO2, uh, pretty low light. And in, my in the first part we talked about the dry fertilizers that I purchased from AquariumFertilizer.com and the estimated index method. Um, so we just talked about that. But now I did go out and buy some Seachem Flourish and Seachem Flourish Iron. These are two good products that are uh, recommended by many fish keepers. Um, this, the regular Flourish here is good for the trace elements. I'll show you what it has if we can get focused. Nitrogen, uh, calcium, magnesium, phosphate, uh, sulfur, boron, cobalt, copper, chlorine, iron, manganese, sodium, zinc, so a bunch of good trace elements, your micronutrients, and uh, this you can substitute in for that BARS GH booster, which uh, they sell on AquariumFertilizer.com. This could be a good uh, substitute for that. I'm going to do, I'm going to use, actually use them both on, you know, alternating so we can test that out. And uh, the Seacam Flourish Iron, um, I saw Dustin from Dustin's Fish Tanks, he used this for a little while in one of his tanks. He made a video on it, so I thought I'd try it out just to get some, uh, see if I can get some reds out of uh, maybe the Rotella or Ludwigia. Um, not sure if I'm going to be able to do that without uh, more CO2 and higher light, but I thought it was worth a try. Uh, if anything, um, I don't think it'll hurt anything, so I'm going to try that out. And um, I want to make it clear that it's not necessary to get any uh, commercial products like this if you're doing the uh, estimated index method just with the dry fertilizers. I just thought I'd give... Uh, the Seacam Flourish line to try since it's uh, pretty highly recommended among a, among a lot of people from what I've read online. Um, also, I'd, I think it's uh, important to note that if you're a beginner, especially if you just set up a dirty tank, it's not necessary to um, start dosing fertilizers even if you think you're going to do it in the long run. I'd wait at least three months before you even start thinking about it. Otherwise, you're going to have, it's just another thing to juggle around in the whole balance between your lighting and nutrients. Because right out of the gate, you're going to have a lot of nutrients that you, all the nutrients you're going to need are going to be coming from the dirt. And uh, that's going to last you quite a while. Um, you will probably get better growth if you start dosing, dosing fertilizers right away. But it's uh, sort of a hassle especially in the beginning when you have to do a lot of uh, other things like testing the water and just uh, making sure everything's going all right with the tank. So that's part two and I'll probably be doing a, re a review on these two products here in the coming weeks uh, after I uh, notice anything different about the plants. So far the Rotella has been looking a lot better since I've been dosing the potassium sulfate, potassium nitrate and all those other micronutrients so uh, that's good uh, I'm pretty happy about that and thanks for watching